developments this morning in the Edward Snowden case. The fugitive NSA leaker could break his silence today. Human rights leaders in Russia say they're going to meet with Snowden at the Moscow airport, where he's been holed up for nearly three weeks. Elizabeth Palmer is in London. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning, Nora. That's right, an email was sent overnight to various human rights groups, including Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International, purporting to come from Snowden. It thanked everybody for their support and then went on to accuse the U.S. government of an unlawful campaign to deny his right to asylum in a third country. At this stage, three countries have offered to have him, Venezuela, Nicaragua and Bolivia. The human rights representatives are due to meet, we think, with Snowden himself at the Moscow airport in a couple of hours, and the airport has confirmed that it will provide a meeting space and security. Russia's human rights commissioner, and incidentally back in the early 90s he was also ambassador to the U.S., Vladimir Lukin says he will go, and that Snowden's official status will be discussed. Political analysts in Russia think this may be the Russian government trying to find an end to this crazy standoff. Uh, if human rights campaigners, the reasoning goes, unite around a consensus that Snowden does have a legal, legitimate refugee claim, then that may give Russia the cover it needs to defy the U.S. and put him on a plane to Latin America. Nora Anthony. Elizabeth Palmer, thanks.